But the other thing I want to mention, and, and Ambassador, you and I talked about this, and this is really will be for both you and General uh, Anderson. Um, over the last 10 years, we've seen a number of shootings at military bases. Fort Hood, 14 dead uh, in 2009. In 2013, there were 12 dead at the Naval Shipyard. Again, a shooting in 2014 at Fort Hood. In Chattanooga in 2015. And last year, uh, in December of 2019, there was a shooting that killed three people in uh, Pensacola, uh, including one of my constituents, Caleb Watson, who was killed in a terrorist attack at the Naval Air Station there. Uh, Caleb was the officer on deck that morning. He's one of the first people the shooter encountered. And although he was shot five times, he managed to make his way out to flag down first responders and give an accurate description of the shooter. Tragically, Caleb died of his wounds in the hospital. I know that Senators Scott and Purdue also lost young men from their home states in that awful incident. I know that the number of killings on military bases does not seem like a lot considering the number of shootings that we've had across the country in the last decade or 20 years or so, and so especially with the number of deaths in this pandemic. But for our men and women who um, volunteer to serve and to put their lives on the line for the, in the service of their country, they should not have to die needlessly. Um, I've met with Caleb's father and brother and I've made a commitment to work with them to try to get to the bottom of what happened. I think there are a number of instances that could have um, saved Caleb's life and perhaps others. The GAO issued a report in 2015 concerning recommendations on military bases. Um, and I'm not quite sure that any of that has been followed at this point. We've not seen any follow-up. So my simple question, I, I, I would like to get to the, a little bit more to the bottom of this, but I have just a simple question for both you, Ambassador Braithwaite, and uh, General Anderson. Are you committed to looking at those reports, looking at those recommendations, to try to see if there are things we can feasibly do to prevent the needless killing of men and women in service, not only of the military, but also the potential uh, civilians that are on these bases as well? Let's look at that GA report try to implement those things and, and work with our office to try to see what we can do to better protect our men and women. Ambassador Braithwaite. Absolutely, Senator. As you and I discussed, I was stationed at NAS Pensacola, and uh, that incident uh, came a little closer to me because one of my uh, shipmates in the Navy, his son was training there, as we discussed, and was in that building and literally just left minutes before the shooting. Anybody who goes aboard any, mini, any military installation has to show an ID card. And it always gives you a sense of security when you do that, whether you come into this building or you come into the Pentagon or any of our military facilities around the world. So I pledge to you, Senator, that uh, I will look into this. I understand that some parts of the report are classified yeah. in a follow-up to our discussion the other day. Um, once, uh, if I am confirmed, um, I uh, look forward to looking at those reports and uh, in, in ensuring that we have the processes in place to protect the men and women both in uniform and out who are aboard those bases. Great, thank you. General Anderson, I got to the commitment from you. You do, you do have one. Thank you.